What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, if you had pets being released on the public test server the same day that Starfield has its DLC drop, well, you're more of a wasteland bingo player than me because I surely did not see this coming. But, y'all, yes, the public test server just got an update with pets on it. Let's get in here and talk about everything that we know thus far with Fallout 76 and pets at your camp. Now, starting off with, we either have a choice between a dog and a cat and you know I already said that if I can get a cat first I'm putting a cat down and I'm gonna name them Mr. Bigglesworth just let me know if I can have any sharks with freaking laser beams on their head and now in naming our cat Mr. Bigglesworth when we switched over to the German Shepherd and switched back to the cat I was testing to see if the name stuck and yes friends the name sticks but you are the only person that is going to see the name of your pet at your camp no other Vaughn Dweller is going Going to be able to see the name that you have given your pet and now honestly i like this system more than i like the caravan system where we can name a brahmin though look i do like that everyone out there in the wasteland can see what we have named our brahmin but i do wish i could pick a few more names for my brahmin during my caravan and now if you're testing the pet system in the ptsr you're looking for where your dog and cat is going to be located when it hits the public test server if it stays where they're at right now the camp companions tab just got changed change to dwellers on the PTS and this is where they're going to be located. And now speaking of your companions at your camp, we did get a lot of questions asked to us of would we be able to have our pet and our camp ally at the same time and friends, yes, it's looking like we can both have our pet and our camp ally out at the same exact time, which is absolutely wonderful. And now as you can see right here, we're not able to have the dog and the cat out at the same exact time, but we can have their toys. The dog can have their dick mound and the cat can have their scratcher post out this is a great little thing just so you don't always have to place these down and if you're looking for those those are going to be found in the mist structures and now you may see the customized option when you look at your pet at your camp and yes friends you can put apparel on your animal but it has to be tagged for a cat or a dog and now you may be wondering well gassy where can i get some apparel for my cat or my dog will go over to your armor workbench look under headwear and you will see a red bow for a cat and a red bow for a dog and now we did toggle the unlockable to see if there was any hidden apparel for our animal at our camp and unfortunately as it stands right now the red bow is the only thing available but i am very positive that we will be getting more cat and dog apparel in the future of fallout 76 and now if you're like me you'd love to have your animals accompany you on every journey that you have out there in the wasteland and go wherever you go like your camp to your shelter or on a journey to the mire or to the cranberry bog but unfortunately, your animals are only going to be available at your camp, not your shelter, and they will not travel with you out on a journey into the wasteland. And now your animals will roam around your camp. They'll sit in their bed. If you put up their toys, they will play with them, and you can also walk up to them and interact with them. You can have them sit, speak, and of course, you can pet them with the emote-style window. And now in my testing, I wasn't able to get my animal to bring me an item, but in the notes, they said as well as being a cute dweller in your camp, they will also bring you an item item every so often this pet treasure system allows your fuzzy friend to show their love for you by bringing you a little treat and now the team did leave a final line on the update notes for the PTS. Keep an eye out for more pets in the future. Maybe cross your fingers we'll actually get sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads. But all jokes aside, what other animal in Fallout 76 would you love to have at your camp? Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out. And if you'd like to see the video where we go over the top five camps of the week that got submitted to us, make sure to check out that video right here. Thanks so much to the channel members for the continued support. Y'all have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love ya.